Hello and welcome to the Daily Visual Bible. I'm Robbie Yates. Okay, today it seems as if we're going to be reading the longest chapter we have ever encountered so far in Genesis. But I did promise you a chapter a day, so settle in for a good 10 minute long love story about Isaac met Rebecca, his wife. We're available on the web at dailyvisualbible.co.uk, which I hope will be the place where I'll collect all Daily Visual Bible stuff together in one place. Don't forget to subscribe, it's so easy to do, and I promise if I get 100 subscribers by the start of September, then I'll produce a funny video that only my subscribers will get to see. If you wish to discuss anything in this show, or learn what many of the strange words I use and reading mean, then please feel free to comment below. Or if you prefer, you can use this email address, dailyvisualbible at gmail.com. Now let's do things right, and open God's word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis, chapter 24 Abraham was old, and well stricken in age. Yahweh had blessed Abraham in all things. Abraham said to his servant, the elder of his house, who ruled over all he had, Please put your hand under my thigh. I will make you swear by Yahweh, the God of heaven, and the God of the earth, that you shall not take a wife for my son of the daughters of the Canaanites, among whom I live. But you shall go to my country, and to my relatives, and take a wife for my son Isaac. The servant said to him, What if the woman isn't willing to follow me to this land? Must I bring your son again to the land you came from? Abraham said to him, Beware that you don't bring my son there again. Yahweh the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house, and from the land of my birth, who spoke to me, and who swore to me, saying, I will give this land to your offspring. He will send his angel before you, and you shall take a wife for my son from there. If the woman isn't willing to follow you, then you shall be clear from this oath to me, only you shall not bring my son there again. The servant put his hand under the fire of Abraham, his master, and swore to him concerning this matter. The servant took ten camels of his master's camels, and departed. Having a variety of good things of his master's with him, he arose and went to Mesopotamia, to the city of Nahor. He made the camels kneel down outside the city by the well of water at the time of evening, the time that women go out to draw water. He said, Yahweh, the God of my master Abraham, please give me success today, and show kindness to my master Abraham. Behold, I am standing by the spring of water. The daughters of the men of the city are coming out to draw water. Let it happen that the young lady to whom I will say, Please let down your pitcher, that I may drink. And she will say, Drink, and I will also give your camels a drink. Let her be the one you have appointed for your servant Isaac. By this I will know that you have shown kindness to my master. Before he had finished speaking, Behold, Rebekah came out, who was born to Bethuel, the son of Milcah, the wife of Nahor, Abram's brother, with her pitcher on the shoulder. The young lady was very beautiful to look at, a virgin, no man had been with her. She went down to the spring, filled the pitcher and came up. The servant ran to meet her and said, Please give me a drink, a little water from your pitcher. She said, Drink, my lord. She hurried and let down her pitcher on her hand and gave him a drink. When she had done giving him a drink, she said, I will also draw for your camels until they have done the drinking. She hurried and emptied the pitcher into the trough and ran again to the well to draw and drew for all his camels. The man looked steadfastly at her, remaining silent, to know whether Yahweh had made his journey prosperous or not. As the camels had done drinking, the man took a golden ring of five grams in weight and two bracelets for her hands of a hundred grams weight of gold. He said, Whose daughter are you? Please tell me, is there room in your father's house for us to lodge in? She said to him, I am the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcah, whom she brought to Nahor. She said moreover to him, We have both straw and feed enough, and room to lodge in. The man bowed his head and worshipped Yahweh. He said, Blessed be Yahweh, the God of my master Abraham, who 
who has not forsaken his loving kindness and his truth toward my master. As for me, Yahweh has led me on the way to the house of my master's relatives. The young lady ran and told her mother's house about these words. Rebecca had a brother, and his name was Liban. Liban ran out to the man to the spring. When he saw the ring and the bracelets on his sister's hands, when he heard the words of Rebecca, his sister, saying, This is what the man said to me, he came to the man. Behold, he was standing by the camels at the spring. He said, Come in, you blessed of Yahweh. Why do you stand outside? For I have prepared the house and room for the camels. The man came into the house and unloaded the camels. He gave straw and feed for the camels, and water to wash his feet, and the feet of the men who were with him. Food was set before him to eat, but he said, I will not eat until I have told you my message. He said, Speak on. He said, I am Abraham's servant. He always has blessed my master greatly. He has become great. He has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, male servants and female servants, and camels and donkeys. Sarah, my master's wife, brought a son to my master when she was old. He has given all that he has to him. My master made me swear, saying, You shall not take a wife for my son, from the daughters of the Canaanites, in whose land I live, but you shall go to my father's house, and to my relatives, and take a wife for my son. I asked my master, What if the woman will not follow me? He said to me, Yahweh, before whom I walk, will send his angel with you, and prosper your way. You shall take a wife for my son, for my relatives, from my father's house. Then you will be clear for my oath, when you come to my relatives. If they don't give it to you, you shall be clear for my oath. I came to the day to the spring, and said, Yahweh, the God of my master Abraham, if now you do prosper my way, which I go, behold, I am standing by the spring of water. Let it happen that the maiden who comes out to draw, to whom I will say, Please give me a little water from your pitcher to drink. And she will tell me, Drink, and I will also draw for your camels. Let her be the woman whom Yahweh has appointed, for my master's son. Before I had finished speaking in my heart, behold, Rebecca came out with a pitcher on her shoulder. She went down to the spring and drew. I said to her, Please let me drink. She hurried and let down a pitcher from her shoulder and said, Drink, and I will also give your camels a drink. So I drank, and she also gave the camels a drink. I asked her and said, Whose daughter are you? She said, The daughter of Bethuel, Nahuel's son, whom Milka bore to him. I put the ring on her nose and the bracelets on her hands. I bowed my head and worshipped Yahweh, and blessed Yahweh, the God of my master Abraham who had led me in the right way to take my master's brother's daughter for his son. Now, if you will deal kindly, and truly will my master tell me, if not, tell me, that I may turn to the right hand or to the left. Then Laban and Bethuel answered, The thing proceeds from Yahweh. We can't speak to you, bad or good. Behold, Rebecca is before you. Take her and go, and let her be your master's son's wife, as Yahweh has spoken. When Abraham's servants heard their words, he bowed himself down to the earth to Yahweh. The servant brought out jewels of silver and jewels of gold and clothing and gave them to Rebekah. He also gave precious things to her brother and her mother. They ate and drank with him, and the men who were with him, and stayed all night. They rose up in the morning and he said, Send me away to my master. Her brother and her mother said, Let the young lady stay with us a few days, at least ten. After that she will go. He said to them, Don't hinder me, she shall always prosper in my way. Send me away, that I may go to my master. He said, We will call the young lady and ask her. He called her beggar and said to her, Will you go with this man? She said, I will go. He sent away Rebecca, their sister, with her nurse, Abraham's servant, and his men. They blessed Rebecca and said to her, Our sister, may you be the mother of thousands of tens of thousands, and let your offspring possess the gate of those who hate them. Rebecca arose with her ladies. They rode on the camels and followed the man. 
the servant took Rebecca and went his way. Isaac came from the way of Ber Lahai Roy, for he lived in the land of the south. Isaac went out to meditate in the field that the evening. He lifted up his eyes and saw, and behold, there were camels coming. Rebecca lifted up her eyes, and when she saw Isaac, she dismounted from the camel. She said to the servants, Who is the man who is walking in the field to meet us? The servant said, It is my master. She took a veil and covered herself. The servant told Isaac all the things that he had done. Isaac brought her into his mother Sarah's tent and took Rebecca, and she became his wife. He loved her. Isaac was comforted after his mother's death.